Hey guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. And today I'm gonna talk about or I'm gonna show about uh, text fields. Okay, guys. So today we are going to learn how we can use the text fields uh, in the iOS. Okay, guys. So uh, let's uh, start uh, with the text fields. Okay. So guys, in the last to last video we have designed something. Uh, this is screen. Okay. So there are some labels. Okay. There are two labels and there is a button. So we have done how we can use. Uh, buttons okay guys and how you can uh, handle the event of clicking the button okay so guys um, if you want to use the text field then just go on the object library by clicking here and here you can search for the text field okay so let's say uh, this is our text field so let me drag and drop the text field here okay guys now let me uh, increase the width of this text field okay guys and there are some properties of the text field so let me uh, let me explain uh, some of the properties of the text field so that you can understand how we can use the text field and how we can customize the text field so guys there is a text so if you want to uh, set the sub prefix text uh, while opening uh, uh, your uh, you know what view controller if you want to show some text within the text field then you can Put the text here like uh, like uh, your name as like uh, robot okay so if you want to show then this will be looks like this okay guys now now this is robot okay but uh, let's say if you want to change the text color then you can choose the color here and you can change the text color also okay and uh, okay fine so you can increase or decrease the font from here okay of the text uh, that is appeared within the uh, you know what your text field okay now guys this is our text field and here are some properties uh, like uh, if you want to uh, adjust the font according to the device then you can choose the dynamic font okay so it will automatically adjust your font according to the device okay now there is a alignment okay guys so if you want to put a specific alignment like you want to uh, put the text always in the right uh, sorry left then you can choose this if you want to make it as center then you can choose this or for the right you can choose it okay and uh, if you want to wrap the text then you can choose this okay fine so let me choose the uh, left side okay aligned left side and here you can put the placeholder so let's say we don't want to populate the text um, while opening our view controller okay so just we want to show the uh, hint text okay hint text is kind of what guys uh, it's it will just uh, you know what give the redirection to the user uh, what you what you should to enter in this text field okay let's say i have uh, right rod uh, enter your name okay now let me run it and let me show you uh, what is the placeholder and how it is going to be work okay so let me run it so guys as you can see our application is going to up and run okay so let it be uh, run first of all what happened is there any problem let me go in the hello world vc okay i think now our example is running okay now click on this uh, text field so if you click on this text field it's gonna show the keyboard okay so the keyboard will be shown by uh, your ios device by default okay so if you click on this then this uh, text field is going to be open okay now okay so what is the problem here what happened let me run once again so guys as you can see it is showing a hint text okay this is our placeholder so if you click on this and if you start the typing then the placeholder uh, is going to be disappear okay so as you can see the placeholder is not there okay and you can type your text here okay so if you want to put the robot then you can put the robot okay now the next thing what we want to do if we click on this button i want to show the good morning message with the name which we have filled within the text field okay so are you getting my point what i'm trying to do here okay fine so first before doing this let me uh, go through all the properties of the text field okay and then we will work with that okay fine now guys um so guys uh, if you want to put an image in the background of the text field you can put the image here okay so how we can put the image uh, actually working with the images we will see in the next video 
okay how we can put the images in the background of the button or in the screen okay or within the text field so you can put the background image here so for right now leave it as uh, blank okay and if your text field is disabled okay so for right now this is enabled but if you want to make it as disabled so at the time of disable uh, what uh, will be the background image you can put the background image here all right and here are some borders of your text field so if you choose this then there will be there uh, there is no any border okay and if you choose this then the border will be rectangular and this is a bold rectangular okay so this is the way how you can choose the border of a text field and guys there is a clear button so if you want to make it uh, as a uh, as a uh, part of your you know what keyboard then you can use the clear button also so this will the sorry the clear button will be here with your text field okay so let me make it as is always visible and let me run and show you so as you can see the border has been changed okay now you can fix the uh, minimum font size here okay and there are some uh, text input traits like content type so which type of content you are going to fill you can choose from here next is capitalization so uh, how you want to apply the capitalization like uh, every words first character you want to make it as the capital then you can choose the words you can use the sentences or all the characters should be in capital then you can choose the all characters okay so if i run this application right now if i fill something here as you can see guys each and every character is in you know what capital by default our uh, screen our keyboard is going to open with the capital letters okay so as you can see so if you want to make some character size as small then you need to choose this thing in the keyboard okay and after clicking on one single character uh, all the characters will be capital automatically okay fine guys uh, so if you want to apply some more uh, text input traits then i would like to recommend you kindly go with the these uh, all traits okay so that you can understand how these text input traits going to be work okay and there is a uh, very important that is your keyboard type okay so you can choose the keyboard type from here so if you are entering a phone number or phone pad then what will be the happen uh, means uh, how your keyboard going to be open for these particular input types okay let's say you want to enter the um, you want to show only the number pad with the sky capital okay so it is not it will not allow to change the language of the uh, numbers okay so let me run it and let me show you okay so guys as you can see now if i click on this as you can see the key within the keyboard there is only the numbers are there okay so this is all about your uh, keyboard type okay and guys uh, there are some more uh, controls are there like uh, how your text is going to be aligned okay again uh, vertically center you can uh, you know what uh, you can choose from here okay and there are some view properties so view properties are nothing but uh, like a background color you can set tag you can give the tag to identify the uh, you know what element view uh, uniquely okay fine so we will use this thing guys uh, in the further videos don't worry as we uh, we will move on the next step we will see this okay so come uh, come on the uh, main point that is what if we enter the name then it should show the good morning with your name which you have filled within the text field okay so first of all let me make it as unspecified and also this as none okay and this should be also default for right now but you can choose by yourself okay fine so guys uh, the main thing is what uh, on the clicking of this button so let me go on the hello world vc and there is a text of the uh, click button hello okay so let me remove this text because we don't want to work with this okay and let me also remove these debug statements so this is our life cycle call guys uh, view did load and uh, we have discussed the life cycle calls in the last video okay now guys here i want to get the text of the text field first of all and then we want to set the uh, set the text with our greeting labels text okay so for that first of all i need to create the outlet of the text field so let me go on the storyboard select your text field just click on this and it is it is going to open the associated class and here you can create your outlet okay so for that press control select your uh, you know what uh, by selecting your uh, text field just press control left click and just drag here okay 
so you can create the outlet here okay so let me name it as name text view okay now guys uh, you should have to follow the naming convention also it is not going to generate any error if you are using all character size mode but this is a standard way okay and uh, this is a you know what good practice to doing this okay fine so we have created the outlet now let me close this here and let's go on the hello world vc and here we want to get the text of this text field okay by while clicking of this button okay so how we can get the text guys uh, see how we can get the text first of all let me define our variable okay name and it's your type of a string and we want to get the text from the text field okay so let me uh, extract the text here now guys it is going to return the optional kind of value okay so i am going to use nil collision uh, operator okay uh, this is nothing but uh, it's a very recommended way you can say and this is going to provide a possible value of this okay so if your uh, text is nil then it's going to return a blank string that is going to be stored into our name variable now i want to append this name variable with the greeting labels text okay so what i will do guys uh, be careful here okay so what i will do guys uh, first of all i am going to take greetings label dot text so i am going to assign a new text and my new text will be what guys first of all i will extract the text from the label okay so whatever the uh, predefined text within the label and then i am going to apply a method that is appending okay so it is going to append uh, a new string with our labels text okay and that will be what guys our name okay i hope clear to you what i'm trying to say here now guys uh, let's run it and let's see is it working or not so guys as you can see uh, our application is up and running now let me put a name here okay so let me put the name as robot and uh, let's click on this button so as you can see guys hello morning and robot is printed okay now guys uh, i want to i want to add a space also here okay so let me uh, and uh, again i want to append me okay and within this i'm going to pass a name okay so guys now it is going to show a space with your name and your greetings label okay so as i have called this appending method with the string okay fine now let's click on this and let me fill the name once again okay and let's click on this example so as you can see guys uh, it is printed good morning robot okay so if i remove if i remove and if i fill another name like uh, uh, russo okay so russo is the name and if i click on this then it is going to uh, print good morning robot russo okay why because robot is uh, already set it within the label that's why it is going to get the text and then it is going to append okay but if you want to uh, show only the good morning with your text then what you can do you can define a predefined variable like greeting text okay and it will be of type string and it, you are going to give our text as good morning and you can give the last uh, you can give the space within the last okay so this is the way how you can uh, define a string now as we have set our uh, greeting message okay now what we need to do here just we need to do we want to append the greeting text with our name okay so let me append greeting sorry uh, greeting text dot appending okay and let me pass our name here okay now if i run if i run this application then see what happens so guys as you can see if i click on this if i put uh, russo and uh, if i click on the example then you can see good morning russo and uh, if i put another name like robert then see what happens now this time it is going to print only the good morning robert okay so this is the way basically how you can get the text uh, from the text field and you can uh, put also the text within the text field so for that uh, you just need to do what 
uh, first of all uh, access your text field okay so this is your text field and if you want to set the text just put your text here so let's say whatever the greeting labels text i want to set you in the text field also so if i run this application then see what happens so guys uh, this is our application now let me put the toto okay so if i click on this toto then it is going to print the good morning toto and the same text will be appeared in the text field also so as you can see guys good morning toto here and here also so this is the way how you can get the text and the set the text okay and how you can work with the text field so guys i will see you in the next video with the new topic okay for right now bye bye take care have a nice day and guys if you like the video hit the like button if you want some improvement then you can comment in the comment section and if you are having any query then comment and i will try to resolve all the queries and guys share with your friends and subscribe my channel if you don't subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video